Welcome back to Secret Weapons, and today we're looking at the EB-10 by Walrus Audio, a three-band EQ, preamp, and boost pedal. We are in my wheelhouse. For those of you not familiar with the background of this pedal, this is the rehoused, reimagining, all-around upgrade of the DEFCON 4, 5, I don't know, I didn't have one, uh, the DEFCON something, the collaboration between Walrus Audio and a mediocre singer-songwriter who will go unnamed on this program. Don't at me. But with the removal of that guy's name, this pedal comes with a bunch of new features. Not only does it just look better, look at that, I hope the lights aren't being too, but instead of your three band EQ being either off or boost, you now have cut options on all three, up to 12 dB of boost or cut for your treble, your low, and your mid range. It's really powerful, it's really striking. And the other massive addition to this pedal is presets, which is amazing because this pedal is all about fixing guitars and fixing EQ curves quickly. I have absolutely fallen in love with this pedal. It is so useful, it is so great. As you'll hear in just a couple of minutes, I have discovered that it is amazing for kind of guitar fixing. Uh, my entire pedal board is kind of built around my Jennings uh, Voyager, which has Stacker Swagger humbuckers in it. And as a result, my Fender Jag has kind of fallen out of favor because everything's kind of set up around this higher output guitar. And this thing is amazing for reintroducing other guitars into your rig like that. In the intro song that you heard, uh, there are no settings changes to anything on the pedal board except for this pedal. That big low rhythm part on the Rickenbacker is done by massively boosting low end, cutting mids really dramatically, and giving just a tiny bit of treble back. Likewise, that nice clean trebly Rickenbacker part is also just a treble boost, a slight mid cut, and a bass boost which is similar to kind of how my main setting is on this thing. I really love a little bit of mid contouring to just kind of open up guitar parts that I'm playing. It can kind of add some chime, even if it reduces presence for like lead guitar parts, but it's so great for chords, especially when you're dumping way too much delay and reverb on it, which is my brand. In that same vein, the only time anything on the pedal board changes during that intro song, there's less delay and reverb for the bass part. Uh, but still, the only other change being made is just some bass contouring and treble cutting with this guy. Everything else is either made grittier using the 10 dB boost or just some basic tone shaping up here, but you can hear it's just so dramatic from part to part. It's really striking. So with all that in mind, let's just kind of pick some stuff apart. We'll go through with a couple different guitars and just hear some basic sounds this thing can produce in isolation. Let's jump in. Okay, so here is our board. We are going to be using the Diamond Compressor and the Benson preamp as our kind of pre-amplifier stages uh, into the Supro 1605, which will go out the dry out to the Maris Polymoon and Mercury 7, finally to the Cab Zeus, and then straight into our Apollo Twin recording interface. The EB-10 is in between the Benson preamp and the Diamond Compressor. Let's hear this without the EB-10. And let's hear that boost. So those mid cuts can be great for rhythm guitar parts. Um, the bass boost and the treble boost gives clarity. Let's kill the uh, 10 dB boost again, uh, but let's add some mid range in for kind of like lead guitar parts.
Okay, so here's something that I really, really love about the EV10. I'm playing my Fender Johnny Marr Jag right now, and uh, it's a great guitar. It's always been a great guitar for kind of like lower output pickups. But most of my rig is built around my Jennings at this point, which is a hotter, higher output guitar. So when I plug in my Jag, it kind of tends to sound a little, a little weak, a little... Uh, there's just, it's lacking something. It doesn't have enough. So let's hear that, and then let's kick on a mid-cut bass boost kind of thing with the 10 dB MOSFET boost, just to kind of hear how this thing can really bring a guitar like this back to life and a rig like this set up for something higher output. And you'll notice that the, the boost isn't driving everything with the intensity that the uh, Voyager had. Uh, that 10 dB boost that you can add on really caused a lot of grit and a lot of breakup in the following pedals and amp stuff. Uh, with this guitar, it's not giving you that same massive overdrive -y kind of sound from the Benson. It's simply bringing this up to a like really usable, sparkly clean tone. but you can give it a little bit more body by doing a very similar mid boost like we did with the other one. Let's turn it off and on really quick to hear the difference. <laughs> 